Today's hack video is 100% subscriber hacks. And I think every one of them is awesome. But if you don't like them, blame my subscribers cause it was their idea. Like I said, they're awesome. They're awesome. So let's get started on them. Subscriber hack number one. I've got a subscriber and his name is Dwayne Poole. And I was lucky enough to meet Dwayne this year at CatCon 2023. But Dwayne sent me a video and this video was about bait rags. Cause either on my last hack video or the one before that, I showed how you could take these little grommets and make your own bait rags, just like the ones they sell. And then you can use a shower curtain hook and hang it on your boat. Well, Dwayne had a better idea. And like I said, he sent me a video about it. My name is Dwayne. I met you in Louisville with my son at the uh, catfish conference. When you're catfishing, especially us, uh, the problem that I always had was when you wanted a rag, you couldn't find it. Or when you're traveling down the river, the rag blows away and then it's landed in the river and you don't even know it. So what I came up with is I went to, I think it was either Harbor Freight or Walmart, and I bought this little snap ring kit. Just uh, hammer these little rings on your rag. Then I take the other end and I screwed them onto my seats. I got one here and I got one here. But what I do is I just take my my rag, snap it in place, and now I got a rag that it's not gonna blow away. It's gonna be on my seat until I wanna take it off. And then boom, there it is. Thought I'd share it with you. You can share it with your uh, viewers. You have a good day, sir. Now you can get these little snaps and they come in pieces. And basically, you put them together yourself. They make the kinds like these for leather, and they make some that you can screw in, too. You can get these little punches like this one and like this one. And they have a little die to come with it. But you can take these punches and this die, and you can put these snaps together. And all I did was take a snap and put it on an old towel, just like Dwayne did. Then I fastened the other side to this piece of cutting board I got. Now you can just take your snap and snap it in and it holds it on there. See what I'm saying? This is actually a pretty good idea. And you can put it on your boat like Dwayne did, or if you're a golfer, you could attach these things to your golf cart instead of using those shower curtain hooks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Subscriber hack number two. I got this heat gun right here from Harbor Freight. And it's probably one of the best investments I ever made, honestly. Because I've had this thing for at least five years. And I've made countless video hacks with this heat gun. I mostly use the heat gun when I'm doing heat shrinking tube. I made dragon weights with heat shrink tube. I used that heat gun when I made my green light video. You may have seen that one. But I actually covered this green light with clear heat shrink tube. Which was a pretty awesome idea. I even used it on my plane boards if you didn't see this video i made these balsa wood planer boards the top is actually made out of balsa wood it's pretty dang tough as you can see because i've been using these things for years and they work really good but i made my own shaft to go on my planer boards and i covered this threaded rod shaft with heat shrink tube but as much as I like this heat gun, and as handy as it's been to me, I've kind of been wanting a cordless heat gun. Because every time I use it, I had to run a drop cord over here and plug it in. Well, I switched over to DeWalt tools, and this is not an ad for DeWalt. It's just what I've been using. So, I'd like to have a heat gun that uses DeWalt batteries. Well, I looked up DeWalt heat guns. And DeWalt heat gun is like 100 bucks, and it don't even come with a battery. If you get one with a battery, it even costs more. So I got to looking on Amazon and I found this heat gun. This heat gun takes DeWalt batteries, but it's not a DeWalt heat gun. I'll tell you the truth, you can get these things for like 25 bucks. <laughs> off of Amazon that are made to take DeWalt batteries. But the thing that made me pull the trigger on this was one of my subscribers. And his name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Mm. I hope that really ain't his name. <laughs> he said he'd been using the Bauer brand operating tools and he got a Bauer cordless heat gun from Harbor Freight. And what I thought was so interesting about his comment 
is because it makes a lot of sense. He puts a cordless heat gun in his boat. Then when you're out there winter fishing and you're freezing to death, you know, sometimes even though you don't want to, you have to take your gloves off to bait your hook, take a fish off the hook for some reason, but your hands are gonna get cold. This thing goes up to 550 degrees and you can adjust the fan speed. But you can turn this thing on, set it there, and use it as a portable heater on your boat. And that's a pretty freaking cool idea. I don't care what nobody says. Plus, when I'm out here doing DIYs now, I ain't gonna have to keep running the drop cord. That's awesome too. But thanks a lot, John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. For making me buy a new heat gun. My wife appreciates it. That's all I'm saying. You know, even if you are using this thing for DIYs, it's cool because it's got its own built-in stand. I mean, you don't have to hold it. And you can cut this thing on and lock the button where you got both hands free. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Subscriber hack number three. I had a video about glow sticks that I did a couple of years ago and I had another subscriber leave an idea in the comment section and I couldn't find the comment. But it was a pretty good idea. Now he said that you could take glow sticks. These are safety light sticks, but in reality they ain't nothing but glow sticks. And you can get glow sticks at Dollar Tree and Walmart or off Amazon the cheapest. That's a little tip for you if you want to buy glow sticks. But he said you could take glow sticks and let's say you're using bait fish and you got them in your live well in your boat or maybe you just got them in a bucket of water and you're bank fishing. It don't matter. Live well is a live well. But he said you could put glow sticks in your live well and it'll help you see your bait when it's dark which is actually a pretty good night fishing hack. I should have thought about this before I made my night fishing hack video, dang it. Anyway, let's take some of these glow sticks. Let's throw them in our bucket, cut the lights out, and we'll see how good we can see in there. Just using glow sticks. You know what? I kind of like these glow sticks because with that fat bottom on them, these things float standing up and that's kind of cool. But anyway, let's cut off the lights and let's see if it works. Well, I'd be daggum if it don't work. You can see everything in there. That's freaking awesome. Look at the outside the bucket. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like it. So when you're night fishing and you're using live bait, or use some glow sticks in your live well and you'll be able to see to get it out easier. I'm just saying. That's pretty freaking cool. I really do like the way that these glow sticks are fat on this end. And when they float, they stand up like this. I kind of like that for a live well. But one more thing that's cool, these things last over 12 hours. So you know they're going to last your whole trip. And that's cool too. Hack number four. I did a video several years ago and I had one of these anchors on that video. You might remember it. A lot of people was asking me why I had a loop at the bottom of my anchor. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how it works. So I got my anchor hung on my weld table and stuck on there real good. I'm going to pull on the anchor rope until it breaks and I'm going to show you how this part breaking gets this part loose. Let's see that again. Let's see it again in slow motion. Let's see it in reverse. Now, let's see a bunny. Let's see it again with the bunny. Now, the reason I showed that anchor on the video is because this was the cheapest anchor on the market. And I've made about four anchor DIYs. One of them was even an anchor that you don't have to weld. It actually turned out pretty cool. Well, since COVID, the price of anchors have went up probably $20. But the thing is, the prices went up on everybody's anchors. So the Never Lost anchors are still pretty much the cheapest ones on the market. I got to talking with the owner of this company and I showed him the video where I made the anchor that comes apart. And the reason it's nice to have an anchor that comes apart is because if you've got a small anchor locker or a small storage box in your boat if you can take it apart it'll fit in it easier well after me and him talking he came up with this design and it's pretty freaking awesome and as of right now as far as i know there's only three of these anchors in existence and i have two of them you can tell i've been using this one right here as you can see you can pick it up by the chain and it works like a regular old anchor 
But if you get stuck and you break this tie strap right here, then the chain goes to the bottom like any other anchor and it pulls itself loose. Now you could put a pin in this and hold it together, but I kind of like the fact that it can come apart. Because if you break this anchor and make it come apart, you still can't lose any of your pieces because the chain holds it all together. But if you're looking for something like this, I'll leave a link in my description box. Tell him that you want one of these because he don't even have these on the market yet. They're brand new. But I gotta say, I really like this thing. And I know, I know somebody's gonna say this ain't a fishing hack, but this kinda is a fishing hack because this is something that me and the owner of Never Lost Anchors come up with together. Subscriber hack number five. These LED lights in my shop, when you buy these type LED lights, they always come with one of these little kits. And in the kit, you'll have some hooks, screws, wall anchors, stuff like that. But they also come with a chain. And you could take these chains if you don't use them for your lights and you could link them together. That'd be a way to get you some free chain. That's all I'm saying. I can't remember which subscriber told me about this, but it was a subscriber's idea. Whoever's idea this was, leave it in the comment section so I can give you credit for it. Anyway, let's get started. You can get this thin chain pretty cheap. Probably about $3 for this. But if you go to most hardware, they'll sell it to you by the foot and it'll be even cheaper. But you can take some of this chain and you can get these cheap shower curtain hooks these are the cheapest ones that they make and normally you can find these for under a dollar a lot of guys use these on their golf towels well you take your chain the length that you want it and then you take your shower curtain hooks and you put these two things together and you got yourself a fishing stringer that right there is a pretty good idea and this right here will work great i mean it's a lot like a fishing stringer that you would buy now this is a fishing stringer that you would buy. And this is the stringer that we made. You may notice they got the same exact kind of chain on them. But I actually like opening and closing these much better than I like opening and closing these. And it only took me a couple of seconds to throw this thing together. But if I was doing this to be cost effective, it's not gonna be cost effective because these stringers aren't that high. You already got some chain, so you're not paying for your chain. And like I said, these shower curtain hooks are usually less than a dollar. Now, if you catch big fish like I do, then you're probably going to need something a little bit more heavy duty. That's all I'm saying. Well, there you have it. Those subscriber hacks were pretty dang awesome. And I really do appreciate you guys sharing them in the comment section and by email, which you can find in my about section on my channel page so that I can share them with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. And if you like this video, then go check out this video because you'll probably like it too. Or hey, just go check out one of my videos. I got a bunch of them and they're all awesome because this video is over. You know what I'm saying? Over.